Yo, what's up everybody? So, uh, I'm kind of doing some first look videos this year, just something a little bit different. And today, I'm doing a first look at the Heat Hog 18,000 BTU portable heater. Right, ha. So everybody's used the big buddy heaters and I have too. I have no problem with the buddy heaters, um, big buddies. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes they, they, you know, if it's really cold out, they don't want to start. The igniter doesn't want to work, so on and so forth. <clears throat> but I personally have had all around good experiences with mine. I ran two, I ran, I ran one pound protein, propane tanks on mine. Um, but then I ultimately ended up with a 20 pound propane tank running my unit because you know at like seven dollars a bottle i mean seven dollars for a one pound bottle or i can go and get you know swap my 20 pound tank for like 18 dollars 20 pounds for 18 dollars or two pounds for 14 dollars so you know it's kind of a no-brainer i know it's a little bit bulkier to haul around but um that's the way i was liking to go about it i did have a i do have a little buddy also that uh, I have in my one man, and that one I'll, off, I'll often use a one pound cylinder on that because it's you know such a confined space. But anyway, Heat Hog portable heater right here. I have never, <clears throat> I've heard about them, but I've never used one. Um, yeah, so here we go. You know, the first thing that I noticed about this, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, is it requires AAA batteries for the igniter. Um, I don't know about that. I don't like the thought of having to have good batteries, you know, for the igniter to work. I'm kind of curious if, you know, if the igniter doesn't work, if you could just take a lighter like you can a Big Buddy, I would imagine that would be all right. But, you know, looking over some of the, the stuff on this, that's the only thing that I've seen that I guess I can say I really, really didn't like a whole lot right off of the bat here. Let's see if I can chop my face off with my uh, Leech Lake filet knife. Oh gosh, come on now. There we go. Okay, take a look at this bad boy. Now, on, now this says that you can use one pound cylinders on it. But I did I did a little looking and I found out that you can also run the 20 pound tank off of this. There's, you know, hoses required. I think that the heater that was on, or the hose possibly, I'm kind of hoping the, ho the hose that was on my big buddy is gonna work because it's got the filter and everything on it. I'm gonna double check that before I just go ahead and throw it on there and start fishing or doing whatever. But come on. Having technical difficulties here, guys. I am excited about some of the features on this. Hmm. All right. Electronic igniter battery not provided. Must be installed before use. Okay. We can do that. I do, just so you guys know, this is just a first look video. I am not going to be putting propane in this today to start it up to make sure it works. All right. I, let's see here, what's, I think this one, this thing weighs 14 pounds. Is that a, what I was reading on here? Now, you know, one of the things that uh, they, you know, uh, that they display on here is that, you know, it's not just the traditional, you know, heat straight out in front of your unit. <clears throat> you can tip this up and up or down, you know, maybe, oh, actually, ooh, I like that. I, I, it will move at a, at a 30 degrees. You can see that's tipped back all the way. I mean... You know, the one thing that I, that was kind of a pain in the butt all the time with the big, with the big buddy is, 
you know, I, I don't put my big buddy on anything. I put it on the snow, on the ice, whatever, and I let it run. And it would make a giant puddle in front of the, in front of the heater. Or, yeah, in front of the heater. This here is literally sitting, you know, that right there is laying flat. And that's sitting at, at, quite, an, at quite an angle. Um, a lot of people, it's cold out, you put your hands out. Maybe you want to put your feet up on a bucket. Get your feet in front of it. Um, you know, uh, yeah. And it, let's see here. It actually rotates pretty smoothly. I kind of like that. Looking at the igniter system here, I uh, actually like the looks of that. I think, see, on here it says AAA battery included, or not, not included for the igniter. And I'm pretty sure that it's actually a double A battery. No, it's not. Okay. There we go. So, got his AAA battery right here. Gonna drop it in positive side up is what it said i'm not you know obviously there's no gas in here but I was, i'm just kind of curious on what that's gonna oh that's actually pretty nice i don't you know it literally sits there and snaps like like a like a like a like a stove or something would That might not be bad at all. I am going to uh, just, so I mean, just make sure and uh, keep some AAA batteries with you. It's not like it's a big deal <clears throat> keep them with you. I just thought it'd be a lot easier if you didn't have them, but if you didn't have to. But you know, cold weather, <clears throat> cold weather on the uh, big buddy heaters, you always have to, like I said, you always have to, the, you push the igniter and it just goes clunk and there's literally no spark when it's like, anywhere roughly below like eight to 10 below zero. I've been fishing in like 28 below zero where um, I had to put it in my truck for a while, um, keep keeping a bag, you know, just to keep it warm enough to get that to work. And if not, you gotta light it with a lighter. And if you don't smoke, cause I don't smoke, uh, that can be a problem sometimes. You know, I, I honestly, I think I, I really like the construction of this too. You know, as the way it looks, I like I like these big wide panels on there. See here, it's got um, it's got a pilot. Two looks like it's got low, medium, and high settings. There we go. There's the top of it right there. It's I don't, you know, I'm not sure what the, uh, I'm not sure what the big buddies weigh, but that feels like it might weigh a little more or something pretty close. Then back here we have, <clears throat> oh, that door's wired on. That's kind of nice. Back here you have the docking station. This actually holds propane tank right here. And it actually keeps, so when the propane tank is in here, you know, a lot of these bottles, like on the big bodies and stuff, they get frosted over. You don't get to use all the propane that's in there because the tanks are too cold. Uh, with this one here, put it in here. They actually have a spot here. You can put an extra second one. That way, when this one's done, pull it out, put it in there. That way, you always have two of them on you. But one single docking station, I kind of like that. The big buddy had one on each side. Um... I don't know. I like I I like this. Let's see how it works out. But anyway, <clears throat> as it's running, it keeps the propane warm, so you get the full runtime on your tanks. Let's see here. I don't know. Hopefully that'll hold up in cold weather too. I mean, ice fishermen were not very um, graceful. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I don't know who, I don't really don't know any, any ice fishermen that are, especially out of my buddies. IFM crew, ah, not graceful. Good people though. Yeah, I don't know, it says it has a 450 foot heating area. Um, I think most, uh, um, 
most of the big hubs are like 100 square feet, I think. Gosh, I'm throwing a lot of I thinks around there. <clears throat> but looks like, you know, maximum operation time on this is about four and a half hours. You know, that's on a one pound, that's on a one pound tank. But, you know, like I said, I will be running a 20 pound tank. Once we get into cold, cold winter weather where you got to run that 20 pound tank because you're going to have to run this on higher settings all the time. Very important. But now I think I'll just get a couple of single ones for portability wise because early ice you know you're pulling a, 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 a one man out or whatever you want to do um you got to travel lightly so yeah i don't know you guys i like the construction i mean it feels it feels pretty rugged and durable i guess we're gonna see i'm just gonna have to get this bad boy on the ice and give you guys another look at it and do a review on it but Get you, give you a good look at her. See that? See that? Hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> Heat hog. Top. Bottom. There's the back. We're going to open her up. That's what it looks like up inside there. Yeah. Either way, I will tell you, I am excited to get this bad boy out on the lake and give her a shot. Perfect. Well, there we go. I am going to be taking a look at this, and then there's going to be a few other items I'm going to do the same thing with. So, there we go. Heat Hog 18,000 BTU heater. I can say that after pulling out of the box and looking at it, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay? So, we'll get this bad boy nice and we'll give a review.